subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snoop and today we are going to get into the maps within Windows 10. Now Windows 10 is currently in the beta version and the full release will be out in a month or two and if things are massively different between now and then for this topic I'll leave outdated in the title and I will put a link to the updated video within the description. So let's jump on in. So to get to the maps you need to go to start and try to find maps up here or search for it. And this I'm going to skip a lot of features in here. I'm just going to really focus on the settings portion of it because it's very important to note this. But for the most part what you need to keep in mind is this is pretty much Banks maps. It's if, if you want to experience it, you can actually go right now. If, if Windows 10 is not already out, you can go right now, go to bing.com, go to its maps, and there you go. So all the features are pretty much identical in that aspect. But with this in mind, you probably are going to have some applications in the future when we're dealing with Windows 10 that can call upon this and actually be more interactive with this. So it's worthwhile having this in here. But anyway, so let's jump on in and we can go to account and if we're sign in, then we can mark where it's our home and where some other places. But let's go into settings. And within settings, we can set our units, preferred driving or preferred direction type, driving, trans, walking, offline maps, which I'll show you in a second. And search history, turn by turn navigation, day or night, background, privacy, and, and so on. Let's go into the offline maps and it takes us to settings. So with the offline maps, what we have here is the actual maps where we can download them. And taking a look at it real quick, the maps can leave a notification in here in a previous video that I made we got into notifications and that's what it looks like just doing a side note so as far as the download download maps we can select that so we can have offline use where is this going to come in play well let's say that we're in a city that we're not familiar with and we need to find our way around and we have our laptop or tablet or whatever with Windows 10 we can actually take this and download a map before we get to the unknown location and that way we have a map on hand but let's go through this and on offline map go to download maps select what country select I meant select the area select country and select the state for here and for this I'm going to select New York just because and let's find let's say I decided I don't want to download New York I can actually cancel out and go from there but let's say I do want to download something as you see here is downloading currently now you can have a meter co connection this may come in play when you have seller type of data and also you have map updates you can turn that on off. also something that may come in play when you're dealing with cell phone internet but as far as that goes that's pretty much about it uh, the rest of this is pretty much tested out on Bing that's the best thing I could tell you is go on Bing and just play with it you have 3D maps, you have favorites, directions, searches, and so on. I mean, it's it's very similar to the one on Bing, if not Zach. But again, the reason why they probably added it in Windows 10 is simply because other apps may call upon this, and they probably will. It'll kind of like how it does in 
Android where an application may call upon the Google Maps and when I make an application for Android I can actually tell it to put in this address and stuff already in Google Maps so the person doesn't have to worry about and all they have to hit is get directions. But anyways, as far as that goes, if uh, this has helped you out, please leave a like, subscribe, share. If this has not helped you out, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. But also, please feel free to follow us on Twitter so you know when the newest videos come out. Also, feel free to check out our other videos. But if you have any questions, leave that below in the comment section and I'll get to it as quickly as possible. If you want me to make a video on anything else, please feel free to leave that below in the comment section also. Also, if you have any comments or anything in general, please leave that in the comment section and I'll get to it as quickly as possible. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Honor Tech Views. Nope, I hope you have a great day.